Hello and welcome, my name is Mr. Buss and I'd like to walk through how to perform lab 9, wind chill. So the purpose or objective of this lab is to use a temperature probe to compare how fast a warm object will cool or the rate at which a warm object will cool with and without wind. Okay, so we're obviously going to need to use a fan for this experiment today, um, but not for the first part. To set this experiment up for, to run part 1, you're going to need to obtain an Erlenmeyer flask, two temperature probes, a rubber stopper with a hole in it for the Erlenmeyer flask, and you'll need your LabQuest and iPad. You'll also need to obtain warm water. So let the water run from the faucet for a few minutes until you can get the water at least 40 degrees. So here I got it up to uh, 41 degrees or so. All right, so that'll be good enough to go with. Put 200 milliliters of hot tap water into your Erlenmeyer flask. Make sure to dry the Erlenmeyer flask with a towel so you don't have evaporative cooling losses. Make sure that your temperature probes are at roughly the same height off the table. Don't get the temperature probe too close to the flask. Um, just a little separation like this is good, maybe 10 centimeters away. Set up your lab quest for data collection. Let's change the rate to 0.1 samples per second. And let's change the duration to 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Okay. And make sure that channel 1 is the temperature probe in the air and that channel 2 is a temperature probe in the warm water. When everything is set, hit record or play on the LabQuest and simply allow time to run for 10 minutes. When the 10 minute run is up, tap the file cabinet icon to save the first run. Put 200 milliliters of hot tap water into your Erlenmeyer flask. Make sure to dry the Erlenmeyer flask with a towel so you don't have evaporative cooling losses. Make sure that your starting temperature for part two should be pretty similar to the starting temperature for part one. If everything seems ready, go ahead and hit play on your LabQuest device. Turn on a fan on high power and make sure that it's blowing directly at your flask and your other temperature probe and let it run for 10 minutes. When data collection is complete, you should be able to view all runs and you should be able to do that on your iPad if you connected your iPad to the LabQuest device. So go ahead and screenshot this. Remember if you didn't initially get that, all you have to do is hit the horizontal bars off to the left and you can select which uh, graphs you want on here, which lines you want on here, and you'll want all of them. So make sure that for your screenshot you've got all four of them on there. Looking at this is pretty easy to figure out what's going on. This is my hot water without wind. This is my hot water with wind. And these were my temperature probes, basically my controls that were just in the regular air. Why did we even run that? Why did we run a temperature probe not in the hot water? Just to prove that wind will not cool something down any lower than the actual temperature. Notice that the wind is blowing on these the whole time, but they never got colder because they were the actual temperature. You can't cool something down any colder than the actual temperature with wind. So here we go, here's our report. What is the objective? Again, the objective is to determine the effect of wind on a warm object using the temperature probe. Picture of your setup, that would be if you actually took a picture with your camera of your setup. So go ahead and do that if you haven't done that and take a picture of the setup. This right here is the picture of your graph and I'll show that is what I just um, worked on. So again, there's your graph and um, please label it so that you know what's going on. So again, kind of just on the graph itself, um, you can, you know, this is the warm water plus the wind. This is the no wind. Okay, so just go ahead and label that again. This is your, this is where you, this is the water. And these two lines were just the regular temperature probe in no water. 
Okay, just something simple like that would be sufficient. Okay, make sure to record your data. Hopefully you haven't disconnected everything yet. So you need your maximum temperatures, your minimum temperatures for the no wind. All right, that's probably easiest to obtain as a data table. So again, if you view your information here as a data table, you should be able to get your uh, starting temperatures, okay, 22.3, 41.1, 23.1, 41.9, depends on obviously which scenario you're, you're recording for, and your final temperature should be uh, way at the bottom. So that's probably the easiest way to get the information, just view everything as a data table. It doesn't seem to be as easy just to click on the graph and get it all the way to the edge, but whatever works best for you. All right, discuss your data, talk it out, just write a sentence or so. Um, question two, if wind does not make air temperature colder, why does a person feel colder? Because you cool faster. All right, so it's the rate at which you cool. You cool much faster on a windy day.